Yeah, tell me. Please tell me this is a social call. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'd like to socialize with a few of your pin particles. Need to shrink down an accelerator. <sighs> well, then you'll need to break into a high security aim facility. Never heard of Meridian? You're gonna have a hard time getting in. That place is no joke. We do? I gotta say, you give a hell of a speech when you're pissed at us. <sighs> Look, Nat, uh, we were idiots. I'm. As much as I love your squirming, it sounds like we've got work to do. I can get us to Meridian. Us? We're in this together, right? No time to lose. AIM confiscated all my research when I was captured. They haven't figured out how to use the particles, but they'll be well protected. Okay, there aren't a lot of ways into Meridian. I think our best bet will be to hijack one of their hyper-circuit trains and take it directly to the heart of the operation. I, I can hack the trains, but it'll leave the anthill exposed. AIM will be able to pinpoint our location. You'll need to hurry. So we go in loud and smash the base up. Good, I prefer the direct approach. In all my time undercover inside AIM, I never could get the clearance to see Meridian. Well, Nat, you're about to get your chance. Uploading the coordinates to the hypercircuit station entrance. Let's move out. So, how many super secret research bases does AIM have? Too many. But Meridian is its most important one, besides New York. You nervous about using Pym's particle tech on your suit? Thanks, smart, but his Pym particles are unstable on their best day. If he can get it working, it might be just what we need, so... Let's say, hoping for a miracle. You know I can still hear you, right? Ah, oh, crap, Nat, we did it again. Sorry! Changing channels. There's the hypercircuit station. It's protected by a force field. Destroy the field's power source and I'll hack into their system to call a train. Understood. Heads up, we got company! Oh crap, that's not good. I don't like the sound of that. We're running into some serious firewalls here. I need more time. On it. Just get us that train. Place is on alert now. Choo-choo! All aboard! Really, 
Tony? We got some not so friendlies. Security clearance accepted, Dr. Belova. Please board at your leisure. Belova? One of my old aliases. Damn it! AIM has been spotted near the anthill. We need that particle sample ASAP. We may be out of time, Hank. Not yet. We're almost there. Let's get what we came for. There is a chest with gear close by. One of my operatives through to your location. He'll teleport you and the particle sample back to the anthill. Teleport? Oh, this should be interesting. Please hurry before they reach us. Who are you gonna call? Hardbusters!
Resistance ally is in trouble nearby and needs your help. Hill now. They need our help. You won't need it on the front lines. Hold tight. It might be a rough ride. Oh, thank you. I'll deliver the particle to Dr. Pym. What is this place? Hey, resistance guy. Care to fill us in? Uh, this is a safe house close to the end. Yeah, it doesn't seem safe to me. <laughs> Target the vents on its legs.
detecting a massive teleport signature. Ah, oh, damn it! Heck, evacuate the Ed Hill now. I don't think so. Hank, that doesn't look ready. Come on, Tony, live a little. Unbelievable. It worked. Congratulations, Dr. Pym. The Resistance has an impressive new weapon. It's sort of cute when they're small. Thanks, guys. I owe you one. Thanks for your help out there. I'll have the pin particles you need transported to the Chimera. Thanks, Doc. I know you won't listen, but I'll say it anyway. Be careful. I'll do my best. Here are the particles Dr. Pym promised. Good luck, Iron Man. Thanks. I'm, uh... Gonna need it. What exactly is this Starboost thing? Meet me in the tech lab, kid, and see for yourself. Every test I did before ended badly. But with this new miniaturized accelerator, I have a shot. Because it is awesome. $1.4 billion vanity project. I may incinerate on takeoff, but I'll look damn good doing it. All systems are in the green, sir. But I must warn you, a large storm system has moved into your direct flight path. Never rains, but it pours. Well, we can't wait any longer. Tony, I loaded up some music to give you a little boost. Oh, no. Don't worry, it's not mine. You can do this. Thanks, kid. Okay. Three, two, one.
perfect landing. Okay. Damn it. Not much juice left in these repulsors. Hopefully this place isn't crawling with guards. Okay, let's see what we got. Wait a minute. Well, this doesn't make sense. Regenerative formula. That'll explain Tarleton's giant head. That's its source. Probably some unfortunate inhuman. Okay, let's find that door. No sweat. Rescue that inhuman. No more regen formula, no more adaptoids. High fives all around. Most of the power in this place is being diverted to that single room. Bingo. That's not ominous at all. You're alive. Tony. What are you... What is all this stuff? Where am I? <laughs> Tony? Are you hugging me? What? No. I just didn't watch you fall. Then why aren't you letting go? I just... We thought... I mean, I thought that... Good to have you back, Captain. I'm so confused. Yeah, come on. Gotta get you out of here. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Tarleton. Did he survive? Tarleton? Who cares? What? The explosion, he was too close. He survived. Thanks to you, apparently. And Monica, if you believe the news stories. That doesn't make sense. <coughs> okay, I got you. The evacuation. All those people. Yeah, we'll get to that. You think you can walk? Yeah, it's okay. I'm good. Let's do this. 
Well, there's the cap I remember. Come on. Okay. What's the plan? Uh, well, we find an escape pod and, uh, escape. You're winging this, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. Actually, didn't think I'd make it this far. <sighs> Tony, where is everyone? Where's here? Oh, well, we're in space. My God. You weren't kidding. Nope. It's a long story. How long was I? Da, ah, well, five hours. Which, by your standards, is just a power nap. Starting to think people just prefer me on ice. See? You're already making jokes. Corny ones. But that's normal for you. Long time no see. Can't imagine your buddy Tarleton was too thrilled about using superhero blood to replace superheroes. He leaves the details to me. Stop what you're doing. Now. Wait a minute. Georgie doesn't know about any of this. And he never will. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Uh-oh. I think we made her mad. Tony! I'm working on it! All right, got it. Let's go. What the hell? Oh, don't mind the killer robots. Present. Hurry, get it open. I'm trying. For a dead guy, you're really pushy. Force this thing. Why didn't you start with that? Well, good news.
news is we're not gonna die in a fiery ball of death. And the bad news? We'll uh, most likely suffocate first. Uh, at least it's a good view. That it is. Damn it. So close. Well, since we're gonna die anyway, you have any, I don't know, last confessions? Your jokes. I just don't get them. I know, I read your diary. <laughs> Why'd you smash the reactor cap? A lot of people died. Tony, there was something buried deep beneath the bay. Somehow linked to the reactor, working its way to the surface every minute. The earthquake. I had to do something. The entire San Andreas Fault was about to blow. The ocean would have consumed the city. Millions would have died. Never doubted you for a second. Just had to hear it, you know? What the hell is that? Well, look who it is. Am I always going to save the day? I expect nothing less from the God of Thunder. Hi, Thor. Welcome back, Captain. formula. George? How long have I been your lab rat? I knew you'd react like this. You'd rather die than need something from them. I trusted you. You saved your life. You can control machines with your mind. Just think of you all the infected me with his blood. It could have killed me. But it didn't. Remember the dream, George. How could you make me one of them? I made you strong. You stole my hope. And now. I am going to give you the same odds that I had. <laughs> I will rid the Earth of superpowers. Even if it has to end with me. They had you. This isn't on you. Tarleton didn't even know Monica had me. What? Ade. The heist. Monica hired Taskmaster to steal a Terrigen crystal. His men triggered the security protocols, initiating the Chimera's autopilot. But, but that thing in the bay, that was unexpected. The heat signal. It must have been what caused the earthquake that took down the city. What was that? I don't know. Nan, I... I just keep thinking. If I hadn't... All those people... No. 
This is not your fault. That ship was never supposed to be in the air. I would have done the same thing. You're alive. I knew it. I'm sorry. Um, come on. You should really see this. I know I speak for everyone when I say that you are a sight for sore eyes. Thanks, Jarvis. It's good to be back. Since the Chimera's near crash into Manhattan, the situation has become dire. I fear AIM will use this as an opportunity to ramp up their persecution of all the Inhumans. We can't let that happen. The world needs the Avengers now more than ever. We are preparing for our final confrontation with AIM. I have completed my analysis of Mr. Stark's plans to equip the Avengers for this anticipated confrontation, and will need some special materials to complete them. Thanks, Jarvis. Time for us to get back in fighting form. Let's see what we need. Excellent, sir. As part of the effort, we might want to help our allies. Commander Hill and Dr. Pym are both reporting serious difficulty in coordinating our efforts due to AIM's draconian control over world communication networks. How can we help? They have requested we destroy AIM's main communication hub to help unite the Resistance efforts. Let's oblige them, old friend. Speaking of the media, reports of our own Thor Odinson working with ex-AIM scientists in a remote part of Scandinavia have started cropping up on the news. This may be part of AIM's propaganda campaign against the Avengers, but it bears investigation. Agreed. Let's get Thor on this ASAP.